In today's video, I'm going to show you a very cool effect that you can do on your Go Ahead Love websites if you're a creative business or a web design agency that services the creative niche. I first saw this effect on this website right here. I'm showing you the video of their actual site. This is a very high end web design agency for photographers, beauty brands, and so on. There's three ways that you can do this on your Go Ahead Love websites. The first is this one right here. You see that all of the images are in view. And as I hover over each of the different cards or images, they expand. The second way to do this effect is as you see right here, you see how all of the different cards or images are hidden but as i hover over each of the different images they come into view and they expand the third level to this is kind of similar but in here i'm actually doing it with videos so you see how as i hover over each of the different cards there's a different video or visual that plays so very interactive very eye catchy good web design is one that converts that is unique and it's memorable so by adding this effect to your website you're gonna make sure that for sure it's unique and memorable all right, so I am back on Go High Levels website editor. The first thing that we're going to do is add a full width section. So I'll just click this right here, drag and drop it like that. Here, I want to make it so that it's of the same color black. So that's what I'm going to do right now. For this video, I want to spell out the word studio and studio has six letters. So what I'm going to do is add a six column row. So that's what I'm going to do right now. The next thing is to click on each column, go here where it says media URL and then select the image that you want to add. So in this case, I want to add that image right here. Once I've added the image, I want to make sure that it's set to full center. And now I'm going to do the same for each of the different columns right here. The next thing that I'm going to do is click on add element, click headline. And then here, what I'm going to do is just add the letter S make it so that it's white so let me just do that very quickly here and then for the font size it's a bit too small i want to make it so that it's a hundred now that i have this letter what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate it and then move it here and then add the next letter which would be the t and so on now i've already spelled the word right here so you see that i have uniflow studio this already looks beautiful and looks intriguing but as i mentioned we're going to make it so that it's a little bit more unique just like this the next step is going to be to click on the row right here Go to advanced and then here in the advanced tab, I'm going to click here and we're going to add a CSS class. I'm going to make it so that the name of my class will be container one and I'm going to click enter. And now for each of the different columns, I'm going to click right here, go to advance again. And here what I'll do is add a custom class and the name for this class will be cards. And I will just do the same for each of the different cards right here. Go to advanced, click cards and so on now the way that we're going to achieve that cool effect is with css if you've watched any of my previous videos you know that i have this stock with all of my go high level web design resources i have tutorials ideas and so on if you already have my doc i've added this 3.8 tutorial right here how to add a dynamic hero with the expanding cards on hover effect as i mentioned there's three methods right now we're doing method one so what we'll do is scroll down here to step number six and then we'll copy all of this code right here. We'll go back to go high level, click on this custom CSS button right here, and this window will open. If you don't have any code in your website, this will be blank. In my case, this is a brand new website, so I do not have any code. I'll click this right here and then paste it. And we're gonna play around with these properties in just a sec. What I'm gonna do now is click save. And now you see that when I hover my mouse over each of the different cards, it looks very beautiful and they expand. What I'm going to do now is preview. Right now it's a little bit laggy just because I am on the website editor. But if you take a look at the preview right here, you see that it's very responsive, very beautiful, very aesthetic. And it's definitely going to catch the attention of your prospects. Whether you're a photographer or an artist that used Go High Level and you wanted to build a website for your own business. Or whether you're an agency that is trying to go after a creative niche and just have a website that stands out. Now I want to show you something cool which is how we can sell this to give it a little bit more personality based on your needs right now the height is 800 pixels but let's say we wanted to make it a little bit shorter let's just do 400 pixels for the margins right now we have zero at the top and bottom and then five in the right and left so let's say i wanted to add more margins so i'll do 10 pixels and for the border radius, I want to make it so that the edges are not round, they're like squared. What I'll do right now is click save. And now you see how the format and the vibe of this change. I'm going to go ahead and preview this right here. So I'll just refresh and you'll see how this looks like. Now this looks very beautiful as well. And as I hover over each of the different elements, it looks very interactive, very beautiful. And it's definitely going to catch the attention of your prospects. If you already have my doc, what I've done is that I've added code for method two and number three. And in those two videos, I cover how to make it so that the images are 
are transparent and as I hover over each of them they become visible and interactive so this is even more beautiful more high-end and my personal favorite is this one which is how to make it with video and I don't see any go high level websites out there doing this if you already have the doc as I've mentioned I've added all of those tutorials right here so you can implement them I'm doing yourself and if you don't have this doc this is the resource that I use every day to build better websites for myself for my clients what I want to do for the first few people that watch this video and say thank you is offer a 20% discount code so if you go to my website and use the discount code that you see on screen right now you will be able to get my notion doc for 20% off so click the link in the description and get your own copy with that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video